Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's gonna be an exciting video. I have been wanting to do this video ever since the full lineup has been, you know, revealed. But it is Saturday, August 26th, and I'm just trying to get to it because my work has been a little crazy and um, we're just gonna get started. And I'm particularly happy because of the fact that I think I started my first long talk through video last year with the Hobonichi lineup and, you know, talking about my first impressions. So it's kind of feeling really nice to actually come back a year later and see how things have progressed on my YouTube channel, um, as well as, you know, looking at how, um, you know, the channel has grown and all of you subscribers who have been sticking with me and commenting and liking every single video that I've been putting out. I am really happy for that as well. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go and talk a little bit about, you know, the Hobonichi lineup for 2024. So grab a snack or grab a drink and um, let's get started. So we're gonna talk a little bit about, you know, my impressions on this Hobonichi lineup. And um, before I get started, um, there was a video that I put out earlier. Um, I think it was a couple of weeks ago there where I spoke about, you know, I'm still not completely sure what my planners and journals for the next year should be and I'm still contemplating about that because my life has changed a little bit with you know wanting so many things that I might not be actually using for next year um, depending on you know how my life has changed and how my work has changed I don't think I have the bandwidth to keep up with a lot of planners so I'm still contemplating and I still haven't decided what I would be purchasing so I believe I'm going to take a full extra couple of months to even decide what I want but um, let's just talk about you know the whole lineup and um, uh, if you're not aware I am on the Hobonichi site it is 1101.com and um, they have revealed the 2024 lineup as of August 25th um, Japan time and we're just going to get into it so right off the bat I did not spend too many t too much time looking in into it but I was really excited to see the um, Japan um, manga classic series was going to be for this year. And um, I'm not gonna lie, I was a little disappointed that it was One Piece yet again. Um, just a little disappointed because I was hoping to find another series. Not that I don't like One Piece, I love One Piece, but um, I, I felt like, you know, maybe it would be nice to um, see another series. I was actually hoping, secretly hoping that there would be a Bleach, um, you know, a Hobonichi series, but unfortunately, no. So I'm still hoping that it would be there for next year. But um, I do like some of the pieces that they have put out for One Piece. So we're just going to go over, you know, the things that I've liked. Um, right off the bat on the color series, I really like the gray that they have put out this year. Um, the gray colorway with the brown ones that you see here. I also think that um, this entire, um, you know, picture with, you know, that very muted neutral background, it looks really good. And I also feel like the pen this, um, this time has been like a great color um, adjustment. Um, not that I didn't like the previous one, but I absolutely love the new pens that have come out. Um, so you can see like the gray one that is available right now. I think it's called, what exactly is this cover called? It is called Highway. So um, this is the A6, if I'm not mistaken, and they have used another cover on cover, which is again, really nice on this one. Um, I think uh, it is the Kanako Kagaya um, cover that, you know, the cover on cover that has been used here. So I'm actually really um, interested in not purchasing this, but this is like one of my favorite covers and there is a weeks version as well that we will get into it a little bit. Um, I will also say that um, some of the artist collaborations I have not been very much inclined to. Um, I did like the color selection on this Panda Jin Kitamura series. It looks really nice, but overall i don't think that i will you know if i really had to pick an a6 cover this is something that i would do and a6 is really not my size as well that's the other thing um but i do love the color selection like i i really like the yellow the red and the blue and the gray that go against this really beige background so this is actually really nice color wise um 
there's also this um, beautiful set of, you know, this is a very maximalist cover if I were to even think about something like this. So it is, um, it's, I think it's based off of like a toy series. Um, yeah, it's Yumi Kitagishi's, um, you know, little paintings that are, I think this is specifically called Little Gifts and it is also really pretty. There's, I think this would be like a maximalist's dream, this kind of a cover. And it looks really pretty, the really bright illustrations against that dark background. It's very magical for some reason. Um, so I really like this too, but again, A6 is never going to be my size. So I would not stick to anything of this particular size to begin with. Um, I know that, you know, um, Hiroko Kubota series is something that Hobonichi tends to release every year, I believe, and this, this year is no different. I think this particular cover is really magical, again, yet again. Um, I'm still waiting for their Instagram live reveal, but, you know, I think this is going to be one of, um, um, if not the most popular, it's going to be one of the most popular ones out there. Um, so the little train that you can see over here is just really, really cute. And I think, um, look at that, that's really very cute. You know, this is all the, I think this is kind of a shell, I believe that's what, um, yeah, it says the bookmark charms are also shaped like shells. So this is a lovely cover. The inside is this beautiful blue. I kind of, you know, wanted the things to be inverse, but I understand you know, the outside. Well, you know, if you look at it in this view, it looks like the outside is more light blue as compared to this particular picture, which evokes more of like a steel gray kind of a situation. But again, um, I'm not a big fan of the Panchu Sagi series this time. Uh, I feel like, I don't know, I've, I don't really connect with this kind of, um, well, this is a trifold, but I feel like, you know, maybe it should have been better if it was the entire one um, as opposed to how they have, you know, it looks like they have cut it and put it on. So I'm not very interested in this one either. Um, I do, you know, so one of the other things that I wanted to talk about was I remember last year when Hobonichi put out their one piece lineup and this was even before that they released the actual lineup during august there was a picture out there on the internet that showed a bunch of options for one piece covers and this was in the process of them saying that oh hey for 2023 we are going for one piece as our japanese manga classic um covers i remember seeing a bright yellow in the corner of the picture <laughs> that had some illustration of Luffy and it was not a it was not center focus so I was like thinking oh maybe they were looking at options and figured out that um you know this was probably something that they could they did not decide to put in you know I, I'll try to find that picture but I'm I should have known <laughs> that they are planning for a volume two of one piece covers. So this is also really nice. It is again goes by the same um, one piece magazine kind of a look. So it does have that spine here. Um, I also like the fact that they have put a little bit of a different illustration this time on the um, outer. Is this a secretarial pocket? I think that would be the secretarial pocket, but it looks pretty nice. But again, um, I'm not a big fan of that. However, um, I do own the Going Merry um, trifle cover in A5, and I am excited that they have released a um, Thousand Sunny version. Um, it is really pretty, not gonna lie. This is probably one of my favorite covers that I have seen in um, quite a bit. And what sets this one apart from the going merry is this right here and uh, i i absolutely love how they have you know created this little i would say like a memoir for going merry right here and i feel like this this being leather and the more you use it you will start seeing this a little bit better this looks so sweet um oh you can actually see all of them really well that's nami that's Chopper, I think. Is that Chopper? Yeah, that is Chopper. And there's Usov over there. And I feel like, you know, um, this is like a very nice 
um, ode to Going Merry. Um, I won't get into details, but if you know, you know. <laughs> so it is, it's actually pretty nice that they decide to do something like this and um, they don't have this, any kind of, um, you know, embossing or illustration on the Going Merry. Um, so it's pretty nice that they decided to do that for the Thousand Sunny version. And this um, cover, while it may stain, since it is a lighter cover, I think it will also be like one of those, um, uh, you know, covers that's gonna patina really well. I feel like this is gonna get darker since this is more of, um, maybe this is not treated with particular, um, you know, paint. For lack of a better term i think it's undyed maybe it is undyed i'm not very sure i haven't actually seen details to see whether it is actually painted or if it has been treated with a particular dye um but anyways i feel like this is a cover that's going to age extremely well it will pick up um you know and show signs of wear unlike its counterpart which is you know completely black and while the black will get a shine and nice patina over the years this one's going to show a lot more character and i think i'm not very certain where whether i will purchase this because my experience having a smaller table using the trifle cover has not been that great and I go into a little bit of detail about this in one of my earlier videos, which I will link up in the cards. But I really love how they have really taken the thought to put some ode to, you know, the entire series this way. And it's beautiful. Um, even the bookmarks, you know, the one in Going Merry is white and red. And this one's like um, red and black and it's just really pretty so I feel like um, the A5 version of this is also available so this is like pretty nice and I feel like you know I, I also yeah well we can see the going merry right here um, I think they're also releasing re-releasing the same going merry because it was something that sold out pretty quickly and um, it has always had the habit of being sold out because it is a coveted book um, so I know that I think this is also going to be available during October um, when you know the one piece um, covers and other accessories are available so I really love the one piece selection um, not a very big fan of the mother covers um, at the moment I do think their weeks is pretty nice mother weeks are always really good um, I am again not a huge fan of um, their tweed versions I think um, this one looks pretty nice but again um it's not my thing so i would not be interested or inclined to purchase this um the mint candy is also pretty nice i would say this is a lovely color um, i feel like there was a version which was very similar to this in the previous years but i may be wrong um okay i want to talk about this one a little bit <laughs> so the first time i saw this, this is a mina perhonen cover and when i saw the name i was like oh, no, 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 no. i was like it was like uh you know i started remembering something like um nichijo if you are not familiar with the anime nichijo it's kind of i don't know why i felt like all of the little kids are talking to each other and i think that's the kind of um same um, feeling that they want the you know this particular cover to evoke they're all little cats that they're talking to each other and saying hey listen listen and while I'm not a very big fan of the cover itself I feel like the name is the best part about this cover so um, as a little you know rant and well not rant it's a little ramble on the side um, and um, some of the other covers that I think have been really nice is this particular one, which is the arts and science version. Um, this is a leather cover, and I really like how they have given, you know, um, uh, you know, this clasp that you can adjust based on how you um, how big or thick the book gets, and I think it's really nice. Um, so this is something that um, is always available, um, you know, pretty minimalistic. Um, it is also um, something that you can use for work if you have, if you're not very interested to carry a, a really bright cover. Um, yeah, so I think those are all the um, A6 versions and we're now going to move into the A5. And A5 also has very similar 
colors and covers that are available as the ASICs. Um, you know, you have the Hiroko Kubata version, which is the exact um, version of the A6. Same goes for the Upanchu Sagi. Um, I am uh, interested that, you know, I'm, I'm actually happy that they did bring the Tomitaro Makino, um, you know, covers that are for, you know, the botanical in illustrations. This is also a pretty nice cover. Um, so the one piece cover specifically for A5 is also pretty nice, really bright yet again. And um, it is older Luffy um, sitting around with younger Luffy. And I really like this illustrate this picture of this um, older gentleman here. And there is this young boy here, you know, it's kind of, I feel like the photography is on point this year for Hobonichi, uh, regardless of how the covers have been. I really like the fact that, you know, um, One Piece has been around for a long, long time, and it is something that is well enjoyed by people who are much older and um, who are much younger as well. So I feel like they have really, really um, nailed the photography this time. So I really like this particular one. It's so sweet. I don't know what it is, but it is so good. And um, while I'm not very much inclined to purchase this cover, I really, really appreciate the way that they've done the photography on this one. So um, that's that. And um, again, I don't think um, I'm not a very um, big fan of the Liberty fabric, so I will not be talking about that. But I do feel like some of the illustrations are really nice. I really like this one. Um, I'm not a very big fan of uh, the Twinkle Tweed, but if I had to like compare between the two, I would like, I prefer something like this. Um, yeah, so those are like at a high level, I think all the A5 covers. Um, I do like the Mina Perronin um, yellow one. This is actually really nice. Um, if I look at it, you know, it's the, it's the light yellow or the baby yellow with the baby blue and it is really pretty. I feel like this is something that you know, would be a really good investment. But again, I'm not very sure. And since this is a zip cover, I feel like it's really nice. But yeah, I, I'm not very sure about this either. But is this a is this a lottery? No, this is not a lottery piece. There are the lottery pieces out there, um, like the piece version for the cousin. I'm sure there's a piece one for A6 that I have, you know, glanced by. Um, yeah, so okay now let's get into the let's get into the big players here um i was really excited to see the um hone being released um for a5 and the if if you're not aware the hobonichi hone is basically you know a, it, it's typically the same kind of a book except that it has like a hard cover on it and um, while it was first released last year for the a6 it is something that they are releasing for a5 and I saw <laughs> the A6 um, One Piece Horn this year, and oh my goodness, this is, if I had to buy something, I'm, and okay, incoming rant, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm excited, but I'm also a little sad. If I had to pick something, just one thing from the entire lineup, I would pick this particular illustration, which is the bow and tie version of the One Piece, um, you know, Thousand Sunny. And listen, look at this, look at look at the intricacies of how they've done it. And it's, it's not specifically the, the illustration itself, but the entire piece looks extremely magical. Um, I feel like, you know, uh, the way that they've done the dark blue background, like depicting the night sky with the the ship and the clouds and the little, I think these are bubbles, but yes, they, the bubbles and all the other, you know, fantasy creatures roaming around. It's actually the sun, it's actually the sea, it's the night sea and probably not the night sky, but yeah, it is the night sea, it is the sea at night. And um it's it's really stunning the way that they have done this and i'm so so sad that they have not released this in an a5 horn like i i don't know why hobonichi decided to not 
put out an A5 horn of this particular illustration. Now, I have a feeling it's probably because of the interiors where they have these um, illustrations of Luffy and codes from the actual series and you know all of these little things that you see around here but we could have just had a regular cousin um you know cousin set up without actually including the pages specific to the manga um which is which is why i'm really disappointed that the a5 horn does not have you know the thousand sunny bow tie version and i'm i'm really sad so um, that's like a big disappointment, but I'm okay. <laughs> it just means that I don't have to buy it. <laughs> and, um, you know, like, uh, um, so one of the things that Hobonichi does, um, Hobonichi does every year is they have like the Zodiac series and this time it is the year of the dragon and they have decided to have tiny dragons like seahorses depicting you know the actual year of the dragon and you know while i really thought that there would be an actual fully grown dragon illustration the minute i saw this i was like oh fruits basket <laughs> that's what i really thought of and um it's actually really cute and i really like this as well but i feel like again if i had to go for just one thing it would definitely have been the one piece um, Hobonichi Hon illustration. So while I'm disappointed that there's no A5, um, it is, you know, it's actually kind of good news that I don't have to spend money on that. Um, another one, if you are a cat lover, you are gonna love this year's um, lineup because there are so many cats. And listen, this is one of the most cutest things I've ever seen. And having this in the A5 is just like one of the best things that you will actually have. Um, it's called Cats and Me, and it just has so many cats. <laughs> it's like, and the fact that you have like a A5 version of it makes it even more nice because there's just more cats that you can just see here. Um, so this is also really cute. Uh, I really like, um, you know, if I I have not actually gone through each and every single cat in the <laughs> series, but um, I think this is the cutest, not the cutest, but this is like the bonus tipped bonus one, which has like the um, little a bowl of um, ball of yarn around so it's also pretty nice um, yeah and I I do like the I do like some of the weeks and um, the yet another cat this is again from Yumi Kitagishi and um, I really like this one as well this is really cute especially the cat holding I think this is the cat holding a bunch of stuffed animals yeah this is like so cute but again um it is something that is so sweet but i feel like you know one of the things that do put me off a little bit about this is that maybe not all of the actual illustrations might be centered so this is one of the reasons i'm not again looking at um this particular illustration as one of the things that i'm interested in um Again, the another popular prediction is definitely going to be the Hiroko Kubata um, series of um, illustrations for the week's hard book hardcover. And um, this is also really cute. It is basically a cat holding a bunch of constellations. And listen, cats, okay, you gotta you gotta respect cats. Just look look at that. That is really cute. And I feel like you know having. Um, looking at this um, on a 2D surface is actually not going to be that great because I feel like when you are going to, you know, when I feel like we have to really wait for the Instagram live. I think it's on uh, Monday. I'm not very sure, but um, they will actually show you, you know, moving it around how pretty these stars are actually going to be. I feel like there's like a lot of holographic detail into this. Um, and uh you know i have also st i have also seen some tobichi events where they have um shown these covers and it's like really nice so this is again something that's really cute so if i you know now i'm kind of confused because i i really i really did not pay attention much to the back cover 
but this kind of gives me a like really nice vibe for some reason so this is really pretty this is definitely going to be a popular one i'm not i'm definitely not going to be able to get my hands on this if i you know wait so that is something to think about i have a feeling that this is one of those um like just like the aurora duty weeks um last year it sold out so quick i have a feeling this one's going to sell out within 10 minutes i don't know this is my prediction but <laughs> i have a feeling which makes me a little sad because i i don't want to purchase something that i probably won't use um so i'm just not gonna I'm not very sure whether I will keep this in my mind. Um, but I am pretty happy that there is the same illustration of um, The Thousand Sunny uh, on a week's version. So this is really nice as well. I feel like this is, yet again, another very strong contender for me. Um, so yeah, I'm not, I'm not very sure. I have a feeling that it's going to be a tough... Um, debate between myself if I had to just pick up one item I will probably have to decide between these two right here because I'm not very sure how I would be inclined I might not be inclined to get an actual full cousin next year because I have like I mentioned in my earlier video um, some thoughts on that um, yeah so these two are very strong contenders um, the Hiroko Kubata weeks and the One Piece weeks is, I don't know. I you know I have my One Piece weeks here, and this one I'm very I'm very proud of this one specifically because it has like this illustration here, and I also have like I have a little cash stuck in there, but you know how. Um, there you go. It's very nice. So yeah, I'm not. I'm very, I'm, I'm in quite a dilemma when it comes to my weeks and of course my purchase for next year. So I still haven't decided. I really need to, you know, get my head down and figure out what I need or even if I need anything. One of the other weeks that I really like are the leather green. The leather olive green weeks is really stunning. I think this would be a great addition for like a work, um, work planner or a work journal whatever but i also really really adore the gray like i mentioned in the earlier um a6 section this is one of my favorite weeks the most beautiful weeks i've seen um it is pretty nice and it looks especially nice with you know this cover on cover so i'm um I'm not very inclined to purchase any of the color weeks at least so um you know, I'm I'm not very sure how it's going to be, but it's it's definitely going to be interesting, that's for sure. Um, some of the other things that I wanted to talk about, um, let's go back to you know the main page, is um, some of the accessories actually. Um, what was I looking at? Yeah, I was specifically looking at the One Piece um, accessories, and I am pretty happy about what was it? Let's take a look. Um, I really like the pencil boards this time. So the thing about the pencil board is I am I don't have a pencil board um, from Hobonichi uh, for One Piece. Like that is not something that I had, I purchased last time. But this time's pencil board actually has information specifically around the current location. So you know how generally pencil boards have like a um to like it, it basically says most pencil boards just have this kind of a ridge here that tell, shows you where your um you know um, where it's where you can put your um page and another version is this that says today right but for for the one piece one being that they are you know, a layer of bunch of pirates and they're sailing. It's actually um, current location. I hope I can just, you know, open this a little bit. Um, but if you're able to see, like, it says current location and it's really not a really nice addition. So I, I feel like this is really cute. Um, so I'm really, 
really happy about this particular item and they also have like the stencils which is something new so um, not that I'm very much interested in purchasing this but it's actually nice that you know it is available and I think they have shown some pictures of how you can use it um, you know you can just draw it in and color it this is really nice the straw hat and of course uh, meat so I'm, I'm actually really interested in that as well so let's take a look at some of the other accessories and um, some of the other accessories that I like. Uh, where is it? One of the ones that I actually liked was particularly this deco rush tape with the cat. So like I said, if you're a cat lover, you are eating good this year <laughs> when it comes to, um, uh, you know, um, Hobonichi. So this is how the cat illustrations are for, you know, the deco rush tape. And I feel there's a better picture somewhere. There you go. Look at how nice that is. I really feel like this is good. Um, I really want to try to get my hands on these self-inking stamps, but they're kind of difficult to get. They keep selling out really quick. So I'm not sure um, if I do make a purchase. Um, this is probably, you know, probably the ones that I'm gonna get are one of the Hobonichi covers um, for weeks and probably some of the one piece, um, you know, I feel like maybe the one piece, then not the one, I feel like I might get the one piece pencil board and the Hiroko, uh, Hiroko Kubata weeks cover. Um, but I, I really don't know. I've, I've not, you know, completely decided. Um, yeah, so it is tough. Um, it is especially tough because there is no more um, uh, shipping on hold so you know especially if you're somebody who is looking at purchasing things that release at different different times like um while sale of most of the items go while most of the items do go on sale um during um september 1st there are still a lot of items that go on sale in october like um the the one piece collection comes out in october i feel like there is something that is getting a November release now I'm not I don't remember what okay I think it was the English English edition that is coming um, that's getting released in October in November so there are a lot of different release times and I really need to look them look them up as well but you know since there is no shipping on hold I don't think you can even merge orders this time it's definitely gonna be difficult for um, people who are, you know, looking forward to certain items that get released in October and November, but still have to go back and take a look at their orders um, for previous years. And, and it's, um, I think there's a little bit of um, proper budgeting that you need to do going into this um, because uh, some of those features are not available anymore. And if you are somebody who likes to purchase one set and merge your order later on like how i did last year it's going to be a little difficult so those are some things that you're gonna have to look into um and i still haven't decided i i do have some strong contenders but i really do need to review and see whether i actually even need them yeah so that's how it's going um let me know what you think i feel like this is going to be a particularly difficult year for a lot of people to purchase things but i feel like they are always in the two ends of the spectrum thank you so much for watching and um, please let me know if you have some things that you are interested in purchasing or what are the ones that really stuck out to you i also feel like there are certain items in here that I will really think, oh, why didn't I look at that before? Especially after the Instagram live event, I will be like, oh, that's when, you know, you really start to see certain things that are um, were kind of sleeping around, but now they have started becoming more interesting. So I'm also still waiting for that Instagram live event to take place. Um, yeah, so let me know how you are um, looking at all your Hobonichi items. Are you excited to purchase something new? Are you trying to change your entire lineup? Because I was at one point considering going back to an A6, but then I remembered A6 never worked for me. So yeah, um, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.